Over the years, there have been plenty of dysfunctional people that have taken the media by storm. But none shine brighter than Tan Mom, which is the story we'll be discussing today. It goes without saying that one of the most important things in life is family. And with that, a whole plethora of activities have sprouted up for people to spend time with their households, such as going to the movies, eating at restaurants, or playing sports. However, on April 24th, 2012, a woman by the name of Patricia Krenzel was arrested for choosing a more untraditional activity, which was going to a tanning salon with her five-year-old daughter. This would result in nothing short of a media frenzy surrounding the woman and her family, resulting in Patricia donning the moniker Tan Mom. Before we get more into that though, it should be noted that Patricia's life was pretty ordinary up until 2012. Born on November 30th, 1967, she spent most of her childhood in New Jersey, attending schools not too far away in Long Island. After graduating, she lived a fairly normal life and even got married in 2005. On paper, there was nothing of note about this woman, until you looked at a picture of her which is when eyebrows began to raise. As you could probably already tell, a constant through Patricia's entire life was her love for tanning. She went to the tanning beds consistently for years, developing an addiction to the process. This resulted in some rather grotesque images of her skin coming to public light after allegations began to circulate that she snuck her five-year-old daughter into a tanning booth in early 2012. Concerns were brought to law enforcement after her daughter complained to school staff that she had skin pain. This ultimately led to Patricia's arrest, with the local media latching on due to her outlandish appearance, with the nickname Tan Mom appearing soon after. Even though Patricia was adamant that her daughter was never put into a tanning bed, a stance corroborated by the fact that the charges never stuck in court, the media attention was still able to make Patricia a household name. On top of this, it seemed as if Tan Mom never said no for a chance to soak in the spotlight, with her agreeing to do an interview with a whole plethora of media outlets, such as CNN. In these Q&As, Patricia denied ever putting her daughter into a tanning booth, claiming that she only brought her into the salon as she was tanned. To explain the daughter's complaint at school, she would go on to state that those were merely sunburns from outside. When questioned about her excessive tanning, Patricia would usually respond with a more loose answer about human habits, saying that she liked going to salons and she didn't really see anything wrong with it. Needless to say, this baffled spectators, leading to her becoming even more of an internet oddity. This presented Patricia a choice that many public figures of this nature tend to receive. She could either go into hiding and try to keep her family out of the public eye, or she could fully embrace the Tam Mom title for all it was worth. And as you can most likely guess, she chose the latter, and purposefully turned herself into one of the biggest tabloid spectacles of the era. We'll learn more about this after a brief word from our sponsor. Growing up, I loved eating all kinds of sugary cereals, but now as an adult, I realize that they don't actually provide you that much nutritional value. Because of this, I pretty much gave up on the breakfast staple food. That was until Magic Spoon. With only 140 calories, 0 grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only 4 net grams of carbs in each serving, it is a great alternative. And the craziest part of all is it actually tastes very good. They're free Fruity flavor is actually better than Fruit Loops in my opinion. I recently lost 30 pounds and foods such as Magic Spoon with a cup of cashew milk have been a great way for me to curb my cravings. So to try it for yourself, click the link below to grab a variety pack and be sure to use promo code GFM at checkout to get $5 off any order or go to magicspoon.com GFM. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So again, click the link below and use the code GFM for $5 off or go to magicspoon.com GFM to save $5 today. With the media circus in full effect around her and Tan Mom under the spell of fame, people began to find out anything they could about her that would add to the story. 
This attention quickly started to reveal new problems the mother faced, namely her issue with alcohol. When she began drinking in abundance is unclear, but suffice to say it became a crutch to help deal with all the media attention she was getting. In August of 2012, Patricia was invited to a gay bar in New York City by drag queens for their weekly hot mess party, where she was seen extremely intoxicated, and while in some sort of laughing fit, flashed her underwear for the local press before collapsing to the ground. This obviously didn't warm her up to the public, who were already questioning her ability to raise a child. And while many expressed concern for her mental decline, some, like many tanning salons across North Jersey, were bashing Tan Mom publicly in order to distance themselves from her now iconic bronzed face. Getting banned from nearly every major tanning salon in the area wasn't enough to stop her from getting some color for her skin, though. She needed to keep the look up for new business offers, namely her attempting to do music and pornography. While the latter never worked out, as for her singing, she did get in touch with the musical artist Adam Barta, who had previously worked with Octomom. The two of them collaborated on a couple of songs which received poor reviews. Following this, Patricia had the opportunity to become a reoccurring guest on The Howard Stern Show, in what somehow looked like a more genuine and less exploitative way for her to express herself to the public. During her run in the Whack Pack, Tan Mom had made several crazy comments during visits, and her celebrity collaborations became well-received bits, one of the most popular being the time actor John Stamos asked her out on a date live on air, and got rejected because he apparently wasn't her type. And while Stern kept her as a reoccurring guest, Tan Mom's media appearances would gradually die down as she attempted to fix what was slowly becoming a shamble of a home life with the media attention as well as her erratic behavior putting a huge strain on her marriage, nearly leading to divorce. This was confounded with her personal health coming into the picture. In 2013, Patricia was admitted to rehab for her alcoholism, and during her stay it was revealed how much the attention had taken a toll on her life, with her suffering from seizures during her stay. Upon being released fully sober, it became apparent that it hadn't just been the alcohol speaking for her over the last year, with her continuing to joke about her dissatisfaction with her marriage and media appearances. After attempting to divorce her husband in 2013, later on it appeared that she simply decided to stay. While many remain skeptical of her self-improvements, she seemingly did stop drinking and even put money forward to buy a tanning salon business for herself to run. Speaking of tans, at this point in time, it appeared that she toned down her time spent under the lights. And with that, for the most part, Tan Mom faded out of the public consciousness, with many putting the jokes aside and wishing Patricia and her family the best. However, the silence stopped in 2019 when Tan Mom found found her way back in the headlines when she was admitted to the hospital for pneumonia. The infection was able to ravage her body, with liquid filling her lungs and thus making it impossible to breathe. The doctors put her into a medically induced coma for two weeks, and this took a toll not only physically, but also mentally. As she put it, this is the scariest thing I've ever been through. I was in a coma, literally, for two weeks. My body completely went into a state of shock. I had a breakdown in my body. My whole system just collapsed. While it's hard to track her progression post rehab, in the past two years, her attitude towards what she had dubbed her tanorexia has been regressing. With her saying on a live event called Tan Talk over the summer of 2020 that she was only using indoor tanning with her even adding that she gets sexually aroused whenever she uses a tanning bed. And that brings us to modern times where she appears to still be addicted to darkening her skin under fluorescent bulbs. Just like Octomom, Patricia was the perfect storm of looks, personality, and controversy to get internet famous, and it clearly did a number on her. While she would undoubtedly still have had problems with her vices, even if the Tan Mom persona never existed, it's hard to deny the fact that media attention amplified her personal and family issues that probably should have been resolved privately. So there you have the story of Tan Mom, and if there's anything to be learned from this, it's that just because you can get media attention, it doesn't mean it's a good idea. And with that thought, I think I'll end the video here. So until next time, thanks for watching.